The next way to strengthen a short, simple sentence is to add an appositive. An appositive is a little bit of extra information or a little extra description that you put in the middle of the sentence and surround it with commas. The true definition of an appositive is when you name something twice. So when you say Henry Ford, comma, the founder of Ford Motor Company, comma, invented the Model T. I just named Henry Ford twice, once by name and once by job. You could also say the Secretary of State, comma, Henry Kissinger, comma, traveled to China. In that one, I named him by job and then by name. But both times I'm referring to someone twice and the second time is the one I put around, put commas around. There's another way to add extra information to the middle of a sentence. It's actually technically not in a positive, but I'm going to include it here because it behaves the same way. It's when you have a noun and then you add extra information about that noun right after it and you put it in commas. If the noun is a person, you'll start the extra information with the word who. So, Georgia O'Keeffe, who was a famous painter, lived in the Southwest. You're going to add the, the extra information. It doesn't need to be there, so we surround it with commas. And it's a great way to strengthen a boring sentence. If your noun is not a person, if it's just an object, you'll start, you'll, you'll start the extra information with the word that. So the table that my uncle built sits in our dining room. The extra information is that my uncle built and we're going to put commas around it because it doesn't need to be in there but it adds information about that noun. The extra information, if you start it with the word which, can apply to either a person or an object. So find a couple short simple sentences and see if you can add in a positive. See if you can name the person twice. That's actually very good the first time you've introduced a new person in your essay. So add a couple true positives, but then also find a couple places where you can add some extra information where the extra information starts with the word who, if it follows a person, or the word that, if it follows a, an object, not a person, or the word which, which works for both people and objects. So add those, but make sure you put commas around them, and that shows the reader that it's optional information.